Good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday. Happy Wellness Worship Wednesday to you all in America and Caribbean. I am greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today will be a pack filled program. Today, I'll be discussing in James chapter 2, 1 to 26, and then we are going on to Psalms 103, okay, 1 to 28, right, and then we are going to the Bible summary. So I hope you all have a blessed day wherever you are in the world, in America, Karen, because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is everything to us, so no matter what you're going through, you call upon the name of the Lord, and he will answer you, despite what is going on in your world today. You have to pray, right? Keep on praying, keep on seeking him, keep on worshiping, and magnifying Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ is Lord of our lives. Jesus Christ is the one in control jesus christ is the one that set apart a relationship with us he loves us he created us for a purpose and a plan and he already knows his blessings and favors mostly flow through, through him right because without jesus christ in our lives we are broken vessels we are broken vessels to the lord we have to come before him fulfilled with the holy ghost that the holy ghost will fulfill our minds and hearts with his word right so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father. We thank for life, health, and strength. We thank for every single thing, Father, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, all around the world, people will be listening to me, Father, Lord, taking on notes, Father, Lord, having their Bibles ready, Father, Lord, and clean, Father, Lord, with a clean mindset, Father, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, that, Lord, you touch whatever, Father, Lord, needs to be touching their bodies, Father, Lord, that, Lord, they will, you will uplift them, you will heal them, you will deliver them from sickness, out of evil, and generational curse break all the generational curses in the life father lord because you are the one in control and i just thank you lord jesus that i can come into your presence every single day to give a word for your people father lord wherever in america in caribbean all around the world father lord, that lord people will we people will have a gist of what is going on around them father lord that lord father you come for their hearts and the holy spirit and their homes and lord father lord yes let the saints of god do not be puzzled up father lord by what is going on but father lord remember father lord the creator in the days of their youth father lord and lord father lord yes they will be helping out one another they will be consecrating themselves they will sanctify themselves they will be worshiping and praising your name father lord because your name is exalted far above the earth father lord and with glory and honor and praise father lord we give you father so about to bring everything into your care father lord take over the service in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so we are going on to psalms 103 right if you have your king james version if you have your amplified bible right you could or you could want to listen to me you could watch me on the replay right because god is doing a good work in your life okay today okay so let us go on to psalms 103 Okay, so Psalms chapter 1, okay, Psalms 103, so Psalms 103, right, 1, sorry, not 1 to 28, sorry, 1 to 22, okay, so it's Psalms 103, 1 to 22, okay. Let us read. Blessed, bless affectionately, gratefully. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. O oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He has done great things, he has done great things. He has done great things, he has done great things. He has done great things, bless his holy name. Amen. Why don't you bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me? Bless his holy name. Amen. Okay, so. 
bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord oh my soul and all that is deepest within me bless his holy name bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord oh my soul and forget not of his benefits who forgives every one of your, your iniquities who heals each of your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and corruption who beautifies dignifies and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy who satisfies your mouth your necessity and desire at your personal age with good so that your youth renewed is like the eagles um strong overcoming soaring isaiah 40 31 the lord executes righteousness and justice not for me only but for all who are oppressed he made known his ways of righteousness and justice to moses his acts to the children of israel the lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy and loving kindness james 5 11. he will not always chide or be contending neither will he keep his anger forever or hold a grudge he has not dealt with us after our sins nor rewarded us according to our iniquities for as the heavens are high above the earth so great are his mercy and loving kindness towards those who reverently and worshipfully fame as far as the east is above is from the west so far has he removed our transgressions from us as a father loves and pities his children so the lord loves and pities those who fear him with reverence worship and awe for he knows our frame he earnestly remembers and imprints um on his heart that we are thus as for man verse 15 as for man his days are as grass as a flower of the field so he flourishes for the wind passes over it and it is gone and it is place shall know it no more but the mercy and loving kindness of the lord are from everlasting to everlasting upon those who reverently and worshipfully fame and his righteousness is to children's children deuteronomy 10 12 to such as keep his covenant hearing receiving loving and obeying it and to those who earnestly remember his commandments to do them imprinting them on their hearts verse 19 the lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord who is angels who mighty ones who do his commandments hearkening to the voice of his word verse 21 bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord all you his hosts you ministers of his who do his pleasure bless the lord i want people from the back to here the front to side to head bless the lord all his works to all places of his dominion bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord O oh my soul so praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's in, in me, bless his holy name. Okay? So Lord Jesus, I just pray for the Lord, heavenly Father in heaven above. I pray for the Lord, you cover people by the blood of this. Whatever evil, whatever the enemies are lie from the pistol, I decree and declare. Whatever the unclean spirit, Father the Lord, around their homes, around Father the Lord, shall be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus has power there's power there's power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb and i pray father lord that people will sanctify their minds and grace with you father lord because you are the one that we are looking up to father lord every day of your lives thank you lord for the strength and the health you give us to wake up us this morning father lord because we we need you father lord in our lives we need you father lord to change around our lives for the better i pray that those father lord who don't know jesus christ as a savior will know him father lord get to know him before it's too late father because this world has nothing to offer more than every single evil father lord that is hell father lord and i pray father lord jesus that the righteous will come to know jesus christ and be full of repentance and repent of the sins and start over again father lord because you are giving them a chance all the time but they are repeatedly doing the wrong things but father lord you wake up their minds wake up their hearts father lord that they will know father lord that will serve you in spirit and in truth so about to, to explain father lord psalms 103 1 to 22 it will be a blessings and then we'll go on to james 2 1 to 26 father lord the bible study and then after the bible summary in the name of jesus christ amen so god is saying saints of god psalms 103 1 to 22 is saying bless affectionately gratefully praise the lord so when you praise the lord you have a joy in your heart you have a joy in your soul and mind and your mind will be transformed and renewed because when you don't have a joy in your heart the enemy will try to seep in your homes and all these stuff and people will try to do pray over your bad all these things right but god is good the wicked shall perish right you don't have to worry about what they do to you god is going to deal with them for what they are doing right that's the reason why people don't see the way in this life okay this life is ups and downs but at the end of the day we pray and we focus and we have a clear standpoint of what we want in the lord we have to be saints of god standing and stop being coward 
and start being confident right in what we are about in the holy life living in god right so god is saying who forgives us so he is the one that forgives us all he is the one that could wipe away every tear he is the one that could protect us and shield us and he executes righteousness and justice not only for the oppressed but for this but before the righteous for the sinners who are coming to him for the young because jesus christ died for everyone jesus christ didn't die for the righteous you know jesus christ died for the sinners that they will come to repentance right and the lord executes these things in the heaven above right execute mean proceed right he made known his ways of righteousness and justice to moses so he he made known right he he is the one that could take take up people he's the one that could take down people he's the one in control right he's the one knows how we have to be tested in him okay and the lord is merciful and gracious and slow to anger so slow to anger slow to speak right the lord is merciful and his loving kindness because of who we are we give him the praise and the honor and the glory every day of our lives and we remember him true communion remember him his body was broken right he was battered for our transgressions right so god is alive and he's alive forevermore right his love and kindness will be plenteous he will pour out his love towards those who love him those who have the faith and trust and believe on him all the time will be saved okay and he will not deal up he will not deal up with our sins because we are getting saved by the lord jesus christ but the sinners those who stop and those who are rebellious those who are going back in their old ways those who are not cleansed by the blood of jesus shall be damned and doomed and if they don't come to get to know jesus christ as lord and savior they'll be going to hell and the lake of fire okay so verse 13 as a father loves and pities his children so as a father as an earthly father that love the children and pity the children mean um love the children and want the best for them god loves those who fear him those who have reverence those who have respect those who have honor and worship in awe of the lord right jesus christ for he knows our frame because he created us in his own image and likeness according to genesis in the old testament god created heaven and earth we was not formed until god say let us make adam let us make eve in our own image and likeness and he did give an instruction to them and they disobeyed god right because they they disobey god by eating the forbidden fruit and the enemy was the enemy the serpent was tempting eve to eat the fruit right so we all have to obey god's word despite we don't like it despite what is going on we still have to obey god's word because god is the one has our life right because our life is hidden with christ sitting at the right hand of the most high god okay so god is telling us right that the psalm david is telling us that we ought as christian people as the saints of body of christ that we ought to not refrain we ought to not refrain but accept right accept god right as our lord and savior he will establish his throne above in the heavens. He will establish you. He will give you nurture. He will cleanse you. He will wash you. Right? All you have to do is start over again. Once you commit sins, you start over again. You confess and repent and surrender your life to him. And he will give you a brand new life. Right? The human race will always make mistakes because we are sinful nature. Right? Carnal minded. All these things. But we have to be spiritual mind. We have to grow our minds in Christ. Okay? We have to be affectionately, gratefully praising the Lord continuously. It's a continuously thing for praising the Lord, worshiping, reading your Bible, all these things. It's not only one day alone and you just go back in your old ways. No. It's continuously. You're reading your Bible. You're praising the Lord. You love the Lord with all your heart. Right? And the last verse in, in 103, Psalms, okay, psalms 103 bless the lord all his works and all his places in his dominion so he has dominion he gave man dominion over the fish the fowl the sea everything birds everything 
he gave them authority so we have authority in our words we have power in our words we need to use it wisely we need to speak life over existence we need to speak life over our families we need to pray for them that they will really come to know jesus christ they will not understand now but they will understand that we that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess they will have to understand these things because god is covering you like a shield god is protecting you god is favoring you his mercy and grace is new every morning right he loves us with the unconditional love he wants us to see us go good in him right and he will chastise those he love it too right because we are the grass planted we are the grass as for man his days are as a grass as a flower of the field so he flourishes so we are flourishing like trees and flowers right we are the sheep right we are the sheep we are the lost sheep right sometimes we fall but we have to pick ourselves up and and repent and surrender and, and allow god to work in our lives right so once we, in order to live a holy life in order to live a holy life as a christian we must confess our sins we must turn over to the lord right if it was a sinner from before right learn to repent of your sins and surrender okay so we are going on to james right i hope this bless all your hearts but we are going on to james chapter two if you have your holy bible if you want to take down notes get your pen and paper it will be useful right james chapter two verse one to twenty six okay so we are going to look at faith removes discrimination right i did i did um think this topic already but i'm doing it again because i want people to hear because some people has missed out certain things and they will have to go back and check on other videos but god the holy spirit does give me this whole thing he said god talked to me before i pray about it right before i come on here because i just pray every day of my life i love the lord with all my heart okay so faith removes discrimination discrimination mean ungodly right pride ego all these things right evil evil things right faith moves removes mountains too when you have faith and trust in the lord jesus christ you will see your life go good but when you don't have faith faith without works is dead okay so my brethren have not the faith verse one my brethren have not the faith of our lord jesus christ the lord of glory with respect of persons for if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment and ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing and say unto him sit thou here in a good place and say to the poor stand thou there or sit here under my footstool are ye not then partial in ourselves and have become judges of evil thoughts how can my beloved brethren hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him? So I'm going to do a different thing now. When I'm reading, I will be explaining one time, right? Because God, the Holy Spirit, has plenty of things to say through me, right? I am the faithful, I'm the faithful servant of the Most High God. I just love the Lord with all my heart, okay? So God is saying to us, says of God, we mustn't listen to what the voice of man say. We must listen to what God say. God is the mediator. God is everything to us, right? And we must have the faith. If you don't have faith, faith without works is dead, right? Do not do works. Works, charity, all these things, do not, it, it does not avail it much, but charity. With charity is love. You must have love for your brother. Do not, do not be laughing at your brother. Do not be scorning your brother. All these things. Do not hate your brother. But in all things, do, do according to what God say, right? Love one another as Christ of the church and these things, right? So my brethren have not the faith of our Lord. So the brethren of the churches must have the faith. If you don't have no faith, Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord glory with respect. So God is respect of all persons. God has respect right he loves us for if they come unto you assembly with a man with a gun so is this talk more the rich man and the poor man okay so the rich man right want to have a set of money 
studying money right through, right? I want to be rich. I don't want to get the poor man anything, right? So, you have gold ring, right? You have gold ring. The rich man has gold ring, has house, has canting, and goodly apparel, and they come in a, a poor man vile raiment. So the vile raiment mean that he had the have, right? The poor man had the have, right? They don't have no clothes, nothing. They have filthy rags, all this stuff, wearing for years now, and he have respect to him that wear the gay clothing and stay unto him. So you are partial, right? You are not fully in the body of Christ then. You are unstable, Right, I evil thoughts. Are ye not then partial in ourselves and have become judges of evil thoughts? So do not, brethren, do not be thinking bad mind towards people. Always think a positive mindset. If people hate you, do not hate them. Right? Pray for them. Right? How can my beloved brethren had not chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him? So that is saying, God is telling us that we have to fix our holy lives we have to live a life pleasing to the lord not pleasing to what man say okay that is what god is saying we don't have to look at the rich and the poor the rich and the poor will always right you don't have to be rich what shall it profit a man nothing so when we dead and we, we when god is ready for us the body goes straight down and the spirit where is the spirit going right this world has nothing to offer more than chaos right this apparel of this world is going down right every day we see in killing all these things god said in the last days things will come we all will have to expect that expect the unexpected because god is talking to us god is telling us to repent and repent and repent and nobody is not obeying what god say everybody want to go on a different trend Everybody want to do what they want to do and do evil things in high places. But God said that the enemy, all people will be wicked, will be all people will be perished, right? So how can my beloved brethren had not chosen the poor of this world? So the poor of this world, right? Rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, but ye have despised the poor, right? People only studying material things. They're fighting. They want to be rich. They want to be higher than people, but they ain't studying the poor in spirit, right? Who don't have nothing? Who need help, right? Everybody want to be rich, have a set of cars and all this stuff, but in, it ain't profiting nothing, right? It's not profiting anything because when you pass away, you're leaving everything here. Okay, my grandmother always just tell me that when you're dead, you're leaving every single thing here. You ain't going with nothing, right? You ain't going with money. You ain't going with girlfriend. You ain't going with car. You ain't going with house. You ain't going with nothing. And your soul have to be right with Christ. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and it's not right in the Lord, you're going to hell and lake of fire. Right? So, we ought to love one another. We ought as brethren, as saints of God, have to love one another as Christ of the church. Right? Right, so do not they blaspheme? So they blaspheme the worthy name. They blaspheme Jesus Christ. They blaspheme him, they mock God, they scorn, they do all type of things. But God still overcome this world. Despite he he is the one, he's the master, he's the creator of all things. So that is what we have to look at. As Christian people, we sometimes we get carried away by youthful lust. Sometimes we get carried away, right? We have to stand up as one. And take back our power we have to stand up as one and take back whatever belongs to us because if we don't do that we will be lost souls right we will be lost sheep going astray at once again okay so we need to stop despising our brothers stop despising the poor in spirit help them nurture them right cleanse them be good to them because God did that God did that when he was in the form of man. He healed the sick. He did give plenty things to the multitude, right? He is God. But he said we have to follow the example of what he did, okay? So verse 8 says, if we fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. So we have to fulfill the royal law. 
The royal law is to love your neighbor as yourself and do well, right? Love your neighbor, right? Despite they don't believe in the Lord, despite whatever is going around, right? Love your neighbor. If they don't want to love you, that is their problem. But you have to show, you have to be a portrait of the body of Christ. You have to be as a Christian person, despite they don't like you, they hate you, they're jealous you, they gossip you, they do all kind of wrong things. Them don't know better because them, them don't know better at all, right? Them living in sin still, right? They don't understand. They will never understand until they come into Christianity, until they convert themselves into Christianity, until they learn how to repent and surrender then they will be changed but when you want to be the same old same old all the time it doesn't make any sense okay so that is what the bible say if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture thou shall love your neighbor so well. you have to fill fulfill it right that means you have to put in the work right you you say you're a christian person you have to put in the work right what god wants us Right? God is saying we have to be obedient and have faith and trust and put in the work. And he will supply everything. Right? Not everybody will go with you. Not everybody will go with you. Not everybody's smile is your friend. Not everybody will go with you where you're going. Right? Because sometimes God has shut doors. Right? In people's faces. And there's really one that is ponder and one that do not worry yourself. Do not be anxious for nothing, folks. Right? Do not be anxious for nothing. In all things, you pray, supp supplication, you be patient, you in humility, your peace be still. Okay? So, for whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty. So, whosoever, that means all men and women, shall keep the whole law, and yet get offended, right, will be guilty. Right? For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor. So that means that you are still guilty of the law. So if you do, if you do not commit adultery and still do not kill, and if yet you kill, so if you kill somebody, if you hang somebody, if you, do, if you kill on these things, you are guilty of the law. You need to get hanged. Okay? Because that is the transgression of the law. That is God's policy. That is God's law. We have to listen to what God say. Right? So speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. So speak. One time, mother. Right? Stand up for your rights. That's what they say. And you will be judged according to what you do. Right? According to what you do. On the land of the living. Right? God has... The book of life in Revelation say the book of life. Those names are written. Those whose names are written in the book of life shall be saved. And those who are not written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. Okay? So what doth it, verse 14, what doth it profit my brethren? Right? Though a man say he had faith and have not works. So what doth it profit my brethren? It doesn't profit nobody nothing. So... You could say, right, a brother could say in the church, right, I just draw an next reference. A brother and a sister could say in the church, I am going to help out. I am going to help out Auntie Karen, right? She's sick in bed, right? And she have nobody, right? Her father and mother died and whatever sibling she had and they went away, they married or whatever, right? And Auntie Karen is sick. Sister Karen is sick in bed. And she's a she's a, attached to a church, and the brethren say they come in. I'm going to bring some food for her. I'm going to bring some clothing for her because I don't know. And I bring some necessities for her and things. And let us have a little Bible study by her house, right? And you you believing, you believing, right? You have any faith that you could go by Sister Karen and you could have a Bible study because you pray already. You say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the meal, you know, whatever, right? You have any faith, but yet still your mind telling you something different. Your mind telling you, well, do bother to go by Karen again, because I don't know. Let she brother help you out. I, I want you to suffer, right? That is what your mind, your carnal mindset is telling you, right? It's a contradiction, right? The flesh 
and his spirit is a contradiction by itself. The flesh is a, co a corruption, right? Because you already already say you already pray to the Lord and say, I am going, I want to help her, Karen. And God gave you the necessities. He supply everything for you to go, right? He transport everything. People go on the bus and think, and when they reach by Karen or something different, they change their minds, right? And you already know she's sick in bed. She cannot move. Okay? That is a poor person. That person mind is unstable. Okay? So that is the fate, right? What does it profit? My brethren, do a man say he had faith and have not works? Can faith save him save him? That is the question. Right? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, right? And one of you say unto them, Depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, we give them not those things which are needful to the body. But what does it profit? Right? What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Nothing. Right? It didn't profit them nothing because them need to depart in peace. Depart in peace means do not be calling and arguing and thing, but always be peaceful. Always have a stillness within yourself. Okay? So even so, faith, if it had not works, is dead. So if you, faith is an action, right? You cannot be sitting down there and waiting and waiting. Yes, you wait on the Lord. You depend on the Lord. You praise, you occupy yourself, right? Until God gives you your blessing. But faith is action. Faith is like praying, right? If you don't pray, right, to the Lord, Right? If you don't pray, if you don't praise and worship, if you don't magnify God's name, if you don't prioritize God, right? You allow the enemy to, to do you wickedness. You allow your flesh to control you, right? But do not allow your flesh to control you. Allow God to control your life. Allow you, yes, because this is how it is in, this, in these churches nowadays. They're only on this money thing. The only and is money. Nobody ain't say no money. But for the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay? So we seeing these things happening in the news. Forget about the news. Pray for the leaders. Pray for your government leaders. Pray for people in the whole that they will learn that Jesus Christ and must have the faith. Right? Because if you don't have faith, right, the works of man is dead. Right? So yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me your faith with all thy works. Okay? So show me your faith. Show me your faith mean. You have the faith and trust in the Lord. Show me whatever you could do with your hands then. Show me whatever you could do with your mouth then. Praying. Right? Because faith without works and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right? My works will not enter me into the kingdom of heaven, right? My carnal works will not enter me into the kingdom of heaven. My spiritual works, what I do, what God give me, right? God gave us each and every one of us a spiritual gift that we could use, like praying, like clapping, like interceding with the Lord is a work, right? But it's a spiritual work. It's not a physical work, okay? We are in a body, right? We sometimes pass were broken vessels, but when we were broken vessels, God mend us up. God forgive us. We have to forgive ourselves as the, as Christian people in the body of Christ. We don't have to go astray like lost sheep. We were in a process. We were in the wilderness at some point in time, and yet still we are going back in the wilderness. Right, saints of God, you need to wake up. You need to learn that Jesus Christ is waking up the body of Christ right now. God is doing some things new in your life. Blessings, favors, mercies are hitting your door right now. Right? But we have to take what God say and use it in our daily lives. And God will work through. You just, sometimes it will take, you must have patience. Sometimes it will take a little time. But you don't have to be um, uncomfortable. You have to be comfortable in the presence of the Lord. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you and direct you according to his word, okay? Because the Holy Spirit does be talking to people in the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit 
when you have a bad feeling and not something is not right god is going to talk to you about that person or that thing that you are pondering about whole time right god is going to show you your friends god is going to close some doors in your life because he ha he knows the reason why he's doing that you allow god do not rush into nothing right always remember pray intercede focus and be determined about what you want to do right because our life is hidden with christ and this is a serious topic here this is a serious bible study what i'm reading because god the holy spirit just tell me just come on here and give this word for your people because the saints of god really need to wake up okay verse 19 Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. There is one God, there is one Creator, Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is a trinity in one. Right? The devils also believe and tremble. They, they tremble because they afraid, they, they afraid God. They do not love God. They scorn God. They hate all these things, right? The enemy is a liar, right? The enemy, time is coming, right? The enemy, time is coming because... God shortened the days for the elect, right? And he knows the reason why. Everything is everything is not a bed of roses in this life. Everything, there's a time and season and reason for everything, right? So, but will thou, oh, but will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? So faith without works is dead, right? If you don't have the faith... It's impossible to please God, right? And those who have the faith, it's impossible to please God. We have to be diligent in seeking the Lord. We have to be workers. We have to be faithful workers, faithful man workers, faithful man ship or woman ship workers in the body of Christ, right? Working, doing what God say, doing what God tell us to do, right? Obeying his word, obeying what he say. And we will get blessings and abundance in our life, fulfilling our life. But when we go back in our old ways, which is the old carnal nature, we will be lost sheep. Right? We will be going back in the wilderness, what God take us out from. Right? When God closed doors and these things, it's for your protection. Right? He's protecting you from whatever the enemy sent, distractions, counterfeits, and these stuff. Right? God knows what best for us. So allow him, allow him, Lord, allow him. Sorry about that. Allow Jesus Christ to work in your lives today, right? That you will be saved. You will have a holy life, abundant life, a blessed life, right? And you could be able to tell other people what God has done for you. Testimonies after testimonies will be appearing, right? That is the only way to salvation is coming to know Jesus Christ, okay? So coming back, right? Was not Abraham our father justified by works? So was not Abraham our father? Abraham Isaac is Jesus Christ, right? He was not our father was justified by when he had offered Isaac. So Abraham offered Isaac upon the altar, Isaac his son upon the altar, right? That was a sacrifice that was doing in the old days, right? But now we are living under grace. We are not living under the old ways, the old laws in Moses' law. We are living under God's law now. Okay? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. So by works, faith was made perfect through Jesus Christ. Right? And the scripture was fulfilled. Right? So the scripture was fulfilled through God. Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God because we friends. I am a friend of God. 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 I am a friend of God because he friends. We are friends of God. God is our friend. God is our amigo. Right? So, Abraham believed the Lord. After a while, he believed on the Lord. He was getting carried away by all these things in this world. But he believed on the Lord. He had faith. 
he didn't give up faith is when you're not giving up right but without faith that means you you lost okay ye see then how that by works a man is justified not by faith only so it's not by faith only is a is by abiding with the lord jesus christ is by obeying him right likewise also was not rahab the harlot justified by works so rahab was justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way okay so the last one is for as the body with all the spirit is dead okay so as the body with all the spirit so the spirit the soul and the body right this body is dead in because when you're dead you're not carrying this body with you the spirit is you the spirit and soul is you you cannot see it right but god is a spirit too right we cannot see god but god could see us okay because he created us he breathed into us the breath do not belongs to us the breath belongs to god right but god loves us so much that he created adam right he breathed into adam nostrils and and that's how adam became a living soul that's how we formed right is a mystery to the churches but also god loves us first so as far as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also too so you have the faith right and the trust in lord jesus christ you have the faith faith is never given up right do not give up saints of god right do not give up always remember according to james 2 1 to 26 that we have to live by faith right we have to walk by faith not by sight right not by sight is not carnally but spiritually with god okay so let us pray heavenly father just thank you for this short little bible study according to james 2 1 to 26 my lord and our psalms 103 1 to 22 i pray for lord that this will be a blessing to the house for lord focus on you for lord they will return the favor they will help out their brothers and sisters they will pray for people who need it for lord who need jesus in their life for lord that they will change them around for lord i pray for lord in the name of jesus for lord that whatever for the lord for the lord yes whatever people hearts and minds are hard for the lord they will be on hard right now for lord whatever the enemy has been lying to them for all these years for lord shall be destroyed whatever generational curses whatever unclean on un, un, ties for lord shall be damned in the name of jesus heal for lord people minds and hearts are for lord they will nurture them up for lord grow at them and build them for lord up into the body of christ that lord they will know for lord that they have to depend on you and have faith and trust in you for lord so about to bring your bible summary i pray it will be a blessing to their hearts that lord they will focus on you they will accomplish things and achieve things in their family lives for the lord all around the world in america in um, in iraq all these people and them will repent and surrender for the lord that they will bow down before jesus christ who's the king of kings and who's the lord of lords because jesus christ loves us unconditional according to john 3 16 because he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe it on jesus christ have the uh, audacity have the authority have the uh, dominion have the power because there's power power wonderful working power and we'll break every yoke every chains of the enemy on people right now that they will be free they will not be in bondage anymore not in the old testament but we are under grace we are under grace saved to faith in the name of jesus it's not of works is not of works let any man boast is not of works is by faith is by faith believing that we have to come and consecrate our lives and sanctify our lives in the best ability in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so i hope this bible study bless all your hearts but now we are going on to the bible summary but it's a bible devotion right and this is going to explain the chapter what i did read james 2 1 to 26 okay i hope so
I hope this bless our hearts because God is really doing some works. God is really assembling people in this season. God is blessing you with a, a blessing that will that you will be so surprised and crying. Right? God is working in your life. Receive and accept Jesus Christ today, folks. Because when you really receive Jesus Christ in your life, you are a different person, right? God will make you different. The old nature is of the enemy, right? The enemy wants to steal, to kill, and destroy your life. But you have to be, you don't have to worry about what the enemy, because all these worry and anxiety, fear, and all these things come from the enemy. The enemy will try to bring duplicates and distractions to your life because he knows that the blessing you're trying to fight. It's a spiritual warfare in high places. But all you ought to do is to pray. All you ought to do is to clap your hands. All you ought to, to worship the Lord. Right? So. Keep declaring his promises and say amen. So keep declaring God's promises. Because God's promises are sure and true. So keep, keep speaking life into existence in your family. Right, so if you want a car, if you want a house, if you want to get married, if you want to, you know, in godly living, you have the power. God gave us the power in our words to use, not for, not for the, not for evil works, but for faith believing. Okay. Looking good this morning. So keep declaring His promises and say Amen right he shall call upon me and i will answer him and i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation psalm 91 15 to 16 king james version the holy scriptures are full of the promises of god standing on the promises of christ the king ruling in the black and the up come sing Standing on the promises of God as I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ my Savior, standing, yes I'm standing, I'm standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of Christ my King, standing on the promises of God is a song, I love that song so much, when you stand on the promises of God, that means you're not going to turn back you're not going to go back you're not going to go back where you was from beginning you are going to stand for what is right you are going to stand on solid ground with the lord jesus christ and you're going to stand on what he promised to you right because the promises of god are yes and true and amen right the promises of god are yes and amen second corinthians 120 in other words he he is sure of fulfilling them in our lives if we believe, declare, continue by faith, and meet the conditions therein. The opening scripture has some of the promises of, of God. If we call upon him, he will answer. He will be with us in trouble. He will rescue us and honor us. If we satisfy us, he will satisfy us with long life. He will be, he will, he will restore and rebuild us, and he will show us his salvation. This is the right time to burst into joyful shouts, dancing and celebrating him for these promises. Dear beloved brethren, don't keep quiet on the promises of God. When you come across them while reading, studying, and meditating on the Holy Scriptures, declare them by faith, believing. Keep declaring them and say amen. You would ex excitedly by faith. Right, do well to fulfill all the conditions there, and the Holy Spirit will bring them to pass in your life. Remember, Jesus Christ is the great high priest of our confession, and he is happy to see us enjoy the promises of God. Hebrews 4.14, hallelujah, be an overcomer. So do not give up. Remember, keep the promises, they keep declaring them and say amen, and keep rejoicing and meditating and studying the Holy Scriptures. Okay? And be an overcomer, be a conqueror in the name of Jesus. Right? Those of you who want to pray, pray. Say this little prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word and your promises. Please lead me by your spirit to continually declare them by faith. The promises that you have 
have for me, Father Lord, and fulfill all the conditions therein in order to enjoy them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Right? So always declare God's promises upon your life. Do not declare evil, but declare good. Right? Because you will be a living testimony for people all around the world. Right? You have to be sanctified and wash. And always remember, when he is covering you, he's covered. You are covered by the blood. You are shielded. You are delivered. You are healed by the blood of Jesus. Okay? Because the blood of Jesus will never lose its power. Okay? So keep declaring his promises and saying, amen. Okay? Keep declaring God's word. Right? Speak life into existence. Okay? So keep declaring his promises today, folks. Right? Jesus Christ is supreme in all things. Right? He's supreme. He's every single thing in all things. Okay? This is the other one. Right? And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Colossians 1.18 Overlooking Jesus Christ and his outstanding works will cause you to lose your identity. Mm -hmm. So, you have to identify yourself in the body of Christ. Where you are, what you are headed, right? what you are all about. Are you living a holy life? You have to ask these questions. Why, when, where, and how, and who, right? You are serving, right? You cannot serve two masters, but serve Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one you will get abundance, joy, happiness, and peace, right? But when you serve the enemy, right, you will get doomed, you will, you will be low, you will be out and about, right? And a wrong, and a wrong, and a wrong, like a merry-go-wrong, right? So do not, do not worship the enemy, right? Worship Jesus Christ, and you will live a blessed and eternal life with him, right? So, this is why it is vital to acknowledge Jesus Christ and make him Lord and personal Savior of your life, right? Because he died for sin of mankind, which is worth celebrating every day. No wonder God has made him the head of the church, which is body and his fullness. Ephesians 1, 22 to 23. He is also the beginning and firstborn from the dead, making him supreme over all things. Dear beloved, if their beloved brethren, saints of God, wake up. If you have Jesus Christ in your life, he makes you supreme over all things as well. Mark 16, 17, 18. Thus, it is very important to exercise your authority. So ex exercise your authority today for the devil, the demons, and people in your locality who to know that you are a child of God. Use the name of Jesus Christ to put fear in the spirit of death, diseases, failures disappointments etc by commanding them to get out of your way and they will disappear from your life so command you have the power in your words use them right so whatever the enemy is bringing to you you have the power to stop him in the name of jesus i command all evil spirits to go right now by the blood of jesus no weapon form against me and my family shall prosper i'm blessed and highly favored say these affirmations i'm blessed and highly favored by the most high god God is in me. God is doing a good work in me. I am rejoicing in Jesus Christ. Right? You have the command. You can command the spirit of death to go in your life. I command the spirit of death. I command the spirit of diseases. I command the spirit of disappointments and failure and fear to come out of my life and my family life and myself in the name of Jesus. Right? And it will disappear from your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay? So prayer point. Right? Those of you all want to know Jesus Christ, those of you all fall and want to get to know him, prayer point. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me the name of Jesus Christ to use. I use it today to reign over all challenges, circumstances, problems, death, persecutions, the enemy, demons, and the like. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, Amen. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this whole little Bible devotion summary. I pray for Lord, in the name Lord, that people will command that, Lord, you give them authority. And, Father, Lord, you are giving authority over scorpions. That, Lord, Father, Lord, yes, we have 
to stomp on the enemy father lord we have the right hand we have the upper father lord because you give us the authority and the dominion to speak life into existence father lord and lord father lord, we could command everything to go in the name of jesus so about to close father lord i pray father lord, we are blessing us that father lord, will take down notes they will learn to go back in the notes and they learn to go back in the bible and lord they will sanctify sanctify their homes by your strength father lord. give them health and strength to move father lord father lord heal the sick father lord heal any diseases that they are going or any generational curses in the name of Jesus so about to leave father lord in their care have them bless them father lord all around the world america covered in the name of jesus christ oh lord and most matches in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so i hope you all love this bible study even though it was a hour or a half an hour god is good god is doing some wondrous works in your life if you just receive jesus christ as your savior it will be good because once you have jesus christ in your life your life is going to change but if you don't have jesus christ your life could be empty Right? You must fill your vessels. When you are a broken vessel, that means that you need cleansing, right? praying and fasting and all these things. And allow God to purify your minds. Transform them. Okay? So love you with the love of Jesus. And I will see you all tomorrow in another video. Right? Have a blessed day. Right? Have a blessed day and always remember God loves you. Always remember God loves you, okay? Because I love the Lord with all my heart. Love the Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I'm looking very, very wonderful this morning in my blue. Blue, blue, God love you. Okay. Always remember that God will give you a new life once you love the Lord with all your heart. Don't forget what Joseph said. Don't forget what God said. What did God say? Humble yourselves. So whatever issues you have with your children, whatever problems you have, do not be fretting and worried. And do not have anxiety. Repent. Get back on your knees and start again. Right? God loves us, but God wants us to reign with him forevermore. God is rearranging things in life. God is closing doors. God is sending financial breakthroughs in your life. Receive and accept that in the name of Jesus because God could do all miracles. He's a miracle worker, right? He's everything. He has excessive love, okay? So get to know Jesus Christ today and you will see a change in your life, okay? So you have a blessed day, right? You have a blessed day. I will see you all tomorrow on another video, okay? Bye-bye. Love you with the love of Jesus. I'll be praying for you all right i'll be praying for your families i'll be praying for all in america all carrying all around the world okay so bye bye love you to love it love you with the love of jesus and bye